Take off her shoe. <laughs> I mean, it took some time. <laughs> this was all part of the processing. And then she'd take off her sock. <laughs> and then, wait. And then she'd take the sock and put it on her hand and talk to you through her little sock dog. <laughs> Yeah, the little sock dog. With the hole in it. With the hole, yeah, it had a little hole in the top. What was your sock dog's name? Puma. Puma, that's right, Puma the sock dog. And what Puma would do is ask you questions like, how are you today? How are you today? I'm good, Puma, how are you? I have a hole in my head. Oh, no. Does it hurt, Puma? Not at all. Oh. Awesome. Puma, what kind of dog are you? A cat dog. <laughs> You're a cat dog. That's brilliant. I had a dog, Sherlock Bones, who was part Border Collie and part Doberman because there was a Border Collie and a Doberman who lived next door to each other on our street and there was a very low hedge. <laughs> yeah, you know. Oh, Puma, the cat dog. You're brilliant. I think I'm going to add you to my list. 164, Puma the cat dog. Have I told you about my list? Yeah, I've heard about your list. You've heard about it? Well, we should just recap anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a list, Puma, of a thousand brilliant things. And I'm not certain, Puma, but I think I'm a genius. Oh, Puma, you're so validating. <laughs> Thank you, Puma. It was really nice talking to you, but can I go now? Sure. <laughs> All right, thanks.